It was my understanding before I started in the fire department there was 18, we had 18 professional firefighters. We're down to 13 now and, and several years ago we suffered a layoff and lost seven of those 13 and we had to fight to get them back. And if it wouldn't have been for the federal grants that we landed, uh, we still wouldn't have those seven firefighters back. My name is Dane Griffith, I'm lieutenant with the Uniontown Fire Department. I've uh, been a firefighter here for about 25 years. I've uh, been a volunteer in the city since 1978. But I remember in the 60s, the city of Uniontown was a very bustling town. The streets were busy, uh, all, the, all the storefronts were full. A lot of activity in the city, there was a lot more money in the city than there is now. Everybody says it was the coal industry. When the coal, when the coal shut, industry shut down, it took, well, everything else went with it. You know, the city the population's getting older now, and uh, it's just, you know, just not as much. There's not as much industry, not as much work for the people as there used to be. It was a little over a year. I think we were between nine months and a year, and we got three guys, three of the original back. And uh, and with the with the the safer grant, we had to rehire. So it took it was about a two-year process before we got everybody back. And what? How did it impact your ability to serve in town during that time period? We were just unable to staff completely. You know, the, the overtime, the guys were trying to work. You know, we were pretty much expected to work an extra shift every rotation, and the guys were getting wore down. The guys who were left were getting wore down with the with the extra overtime and everything, and it was it was tough on everyone. And uh, and and. When you work that much, you know, every, you're not 100 percent. You're not 100 percent. It's and, and it just it hurts. It hurts everyone. I think we see it more than anybody else does because we're in contact with the people more. We go out, uh, you know, regardless of what the situation is. A lot of people don't see the hardships that some people go through. And this town always was, ever since I've been around, has been kind of rough. But it's even more so now today. You can see the difference in the last five or ten years. Uh, a lot of poorer families, lower income, the economy definitely isn't helping things. And when you're in a lower income area to begin with, you know, it, it really gets hard and really gets rough. And I think we're in that position now. I think we, we see that probably more than anybody else does, us in the police department probably. They were talking about making cuts and laying us off and uh, we were right. Uh, we didn't think the public was aware or educated as to basically even, you know, what we do on a daily day basis. And uh, that's what we went out to do, just basically to educate them and to get a petition signed for support. The politicians don't want people to know these things because, you know, it, it stirs up controversy. And uh, I was laid off. It was, it was terrible for me because I'm not that kind of person that I can't sit around. I always got to be doing something or feel like I've achieved something. When your heart's in the place, you know, it's just like they tore it away from you, like they took a family member from you. And you don't you didn't get to see your friends as much. and. Yeah, it was bad on me. I think the people should be first. Uh, that's why I do what I do. Uh, it's, it's not for me, it's, it's for the community. I mean, somebody has to do it. If there isn't anybody around to do it, who's going to do it? The politicians going to do it? Uh, they were asked that question when they laid us off. Are they going to come out and, in the middle of the night and, and do this job? And I, th I think everybody knows the answer to that. Uh, yeah, it means a lot to me. I would like to see it. But, you know, I, I don't know if... So something would have to change because it just seems like a different day, a different era. You know, I, I think we need to be more involved as individuals in our community to, as a whole, to straighten this country out, so to speak. And I think that's what the problem is.